Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. So today is actually gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I make my thumbnails, my YouTube thumbnails for the Pokemon Go Battle League videos of the shoutcast that I do get. And this hopefully gets a lot of attention. If it does, I will continue to make more videos. I'll, I'll show you how I make my overlays. I'll show you how I make my, how I edit, what editing software I use and everything like that. It should be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys join me on this. Uh, this might be useful for fellow content creators. It might be useful if, you know, you just want to see behind the scenes of how I do it. Uh, I don't claim to be the best. I'm certainly not, but I do have a graphic design background. So uh, I do have a little bit of experience there. But anyway, what do I use to make my YouTube thumbnails? I use Pixlr Editor. I use Pixlr Editor, and I will leave a link in the description down below. Uh, it's 100% free, as it says it is free. You don't have to download it, it's straight on the web. Uh, by the way, I use the PC, I don't use my phone to make the thumbnails, uh, but you can use a laptop. It's on the laptop as well. Uh, so yeah, just Pixlr Editor, 100% free. Uh, to use. They do have a paid version, and I mean, I'm sure there's benefits to that, but to be honest, I've never felt like I really needed it. Uh, I, everything I want, I just get from, um, yeah, Pixel Editor uh, for the free version. But anyway, we're taking a look and we see a Pixel X and a Pixel E. I've never used Pixel X. Uh, I really don't know uh, anything about that, to be honest. I just use Pixel E. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to click on Launch Pixel E. And as you can see, they do save yours for a, a short period of time. Eventually, it will get deleted, but uh, for a short period of time, they do go ahead and save those, uh, um, whatever you created, they do save it. But for the you know purpose of this video, we're gonna uh, click on Create New. So YouTube thumbnails are 1280 by 720. So just this thumb 720p, that's the one you do wanna click on. Uh, so we click on that and we click on create. Let me go ahead and move this over just a little bit. Okay, so first things first, oh, this is Pixlr, right? This is Pixlr. We're going to go ahead and click on layer on the top and add image as layer. Now, you guys know the background I use for my thumbnails. I personally like it a lot. I use it for all mine. It's going to be background two. Uh, or that's what I named it, but this is the background I use and I scroll out a little bit I'm on background two. That's what I named it and we're gonna go ahead and move it down um, And that's Generally how I create the background. We're gonna go ahead and move it down right there And then yeah, we start from here. So there we are. We have the background right very nice very simple uh, But for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and create our own so I actually went ahead and I typed Halloween background. You could type in, let's say we're doing the Halloween cup, right? For example, I'm going to say the Halloween cup. You could do whatever you want. If it's a love cup, you could type in love background, you know, holiday background, Easter background, whatever you want to do, uh, plain background, YouTube background, whatever you want. But for this uh, situation, we're going to type in Halloween background. And we found this really cool uh, background with spider webs. So it does fit the Halloween theme. Uh, so I already go, went ahead and saved it. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this. And again, we go to layer, add image as layer. And I named it spider background. So I'm just going to go ahead. You can name it anything you want. Make, it, make sure you name it something you recognize. So spider background. So we have this background, of course. We have to bring it um, up. So how do we do that? We click on the edge of it and we can move it up and down. Now you can just move it up and down like this. If you hold shift... Um, you could you go any which way you want. Like, you could create <laughs> basically any which way you want. And so that's what I do for my backgrounds. I hold shift and I bring it to the very edge. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same. Because I do want the, um, you know, I do want these spider webs. I think these spider webs look cool, right? So I do want that spider webs on the back. So we're going to go ahead and move that there. Next thing we want to do is we want to add... Um, the image of the Halloween cup logo. So for example, here's a Halloween icon um, And you could download this image from Pokemon is their website. I will leave a link uh, to their website in the description down below uh, They data mine everything and they have all their uh, resources on the website to take me a little bit to find I'm not gonna lie uh, But you could find it on their website uh, So you could obviously put this any way you want But we're just gonna go ahead and we put it on the left side. That's usually how we do it um, and uh, we're just, oh, that looks about right. So there we go. So we have the spider background and we have the Halloween cup icon. So, so far, so good. So 
Uh, you know how I have that little, um, I don't know, that little thing on the side. I'll show you what I mean. Um, basically what you want to do is go back to Google, type in white background. It could be any type of color background. It could be anything. But we're going to type in white background, just pick up a background, a plain background. So you could type in plain background, whatever you want, and save it. We already have it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add image. Um, and white background, I think I saved it as, well, mm, I guess not. Okay. Um, uh, black background, did I save it as? Maybe I did. Um, okay, so whatever, we'll just use this one. This one's fine, it doesn't really matter. I think I have a white one there, I don't remember. See, you have to remember what you name it as. But, okay, so we have this, right? And we can move it up and down as we said. Uh, but if you hold shift, you know, you can move it any which way you want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate this. So we're going to go ahead and click on this. You see this icon and we could rotate it. If you hold down shift, um, you could just rotate it like that. Don't hold down shift. You can go any which way you want. So we're going to go ahead and bring this up like this. Like this. And there might be an easy way to do this for the record, uh, but this is how I do it. Uh, so there we go. So we have that little, whatever it's called, that little design where the Pokemon goes. You, you, get, you guys get what I'm saying, right? Um, so, okay, so we have that design, but we don't want it black. I mean, black does fit the, the color of Halloween, I guess. But we want it the color of the, um, we want it orange. Because that's the color of the pumpkin, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this tool, the picker. So the picker will pick up any color you want. So we click on the eye, we get that color as we can see over here. We pick on the stem, we pick on the background, you get it. So now we can pick on the pumpkin. Now you could do this color pumpkin, it's like a light, looks like a lighter shade uh, of orange. You could go for a darker theme. You could do anything you want basically. Here's like, like kind of like a darker theme, but let's say we want to maybe, maybe like that. Um, okay, so we have that color. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure we click on the layer. So we go back, we go, or we go to the arrange tool. We can click on this, or you can just click straight on the background. It doesn't really matter. But we have this image, and then we go to this tool, which is the fill tool. So we have the orange color. We have the fill tool selected, orange. Simple as that. You can change it to any color you want. If we go back to the pick a tool, let's say we wanted a green color to match the stem. We could go the, the that color, right? But we're just going to go ahead and go for the orange theme. If you want to undo something, edit, undo. It's also control Z, but edit, undo. Um, yep, edit, undo. And if you want to redo something, you could do that. So we have that. So what Pokemon are we featuring? Well, let's say we're featuring Mandibuzz. So you could go ahead and... So there's a couple of things I want to point out. So you can go ahead and type in go Mandibuzz. And that will bring up or should bring up the Mandibuzz Pokemon Go image. You don't want to use that image, and I'll show you why right now. Uh, because if we use that image, add image as layer, we do have it uh, saved. We're gonna go ahead and add that image right now. Mandibuzz. So here's the image. The images are small, right? I do use these images on my overlay, but they're small. The problem with this is if you stretch it out, it's gonna be blurry. Um, I mean, it, as you can see, it's, it's actually really blurry. So it might not show up that blurry uh if people are seen on the thumbnail but the smaller the pokemon the blurrier it gets i personally don't like it so what you want to do is just type in let's say mandibus you just type in mandibus and find a cool image so i think i use this actually no i think i use this image i like this image right so this is a pretty cool image um this is another cool image as well but um I think I used this one, so we're gonna go ahead and add image as layer. So we go to Mandibuzz, and we do have this image. Oh, this is a small one as well, so this is not the best example. Usually you want it a bigger size, but um, I don't think it's too bad. Um, you know, it's a small, it's not the best best example. So let's see if we get a better example there. Um, okay, this should be, oh, that's a small one as well. Um, let's see if we can get a better example right now. Um, okay, well this is pretty cool. Uh, looks like a better example. Uh, trying to find a best example for you. Um, it's a little bit small. 
Um, well, either way, some of these are, are small in this situation. But either way, let's say you found a, a really good uh, picture that you like and you want to use. Let's go ahead and go add layer. We'll add the mandibles. So this is the mandibles image that you want to use. So we, we put the Pokemon right there and looks pretty cool, right? I mean, looks really cool. We have the spider web, we have the, the Halloween icon, we have that thing in the background, um, just to add a little bit of design. We have the featured Pokemon, in this case, Mandibuzz. Uh, and what I do is, I also have the Go logo saved, so I save that as Go logo. And when I, when I talk about bigger images, this is what I mean. Like, um, obviously you're not gonna use it this size, but it's not gonna be blurry because it wasn't a bigger image. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just scale this all the way down. And you could put it any size you want. Let's say that's the size we want. Um, I rotate this a little bit. Uh, you don't have to, but I think that looks pretty cool. And then I add my logo. So we're going to go ahead and type in logo. And we do have the PK logo. Again, this is big. This was designed for me. Uh, so we're gonna. I like this logo a lot. So I do add it to the overlay. Oops. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do just that. Uh, so we're going to add it down here. Um, I use I usually put it a little bit smaller. I probably will make it bigger uh, moving forward on my thumbnails. But um, So that's what I do. So that's basically how I design, not basically, that's exactly how I design my overlay, except I use my actual one that I like, the, the uh, background that I like, you know, on, on every single video. So that's basically it. Um, but maybe you don't want to use... Uh, or you don't want to do exactly what I do. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, show another example of what we could do. Uh, for Just give you another example. So we're going to um, close this out for a second. And uh, if we look on the side, we can make it visible. It's visible right now. We can click on that. Um, so we know it's there and we can unclick it when we need to use it. So another way I, th I thought about... Um, making video or making thumbnails. I thought about this in the beginning. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, this is another way to make thumbnails. We're going to go ahead and make another cool thumbnail right now. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, so, so we're making another one. Uh, a different type of thumb. I mean, it's the same type, but you, you get it, you get it. So we're using the background that we like, right? And we have this image, and we want to duplicate it. We don't want to uh, bring in another background and make another one. We want to click on Layer, Duplicate, and now we have the same exact thing. And we're going to go ahead and just rotate it uh, a little bit like that. Uh, I think we want to rotate it some more. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Bring this down a little bit. Uh, just a little bit more. Um, like that, maybe. And then we want another one. So, duplicate layer. We'll bring this over. And we will, yeah. Um, Make it like this. This is something I designed uh, before I decided on my final thumbnails, but and I was inspired by Zionic thumbnails. I'm not going to pretend that I wasn't. Um, but yeah, so huge shout out to Zionic there. But um, so okay, so we have um, them going around like that, and we want the featured Pokemon in the middle. So right now we're gonna go ahead and add that Mandibuzz uh, because the Mandibuzz is the featured Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so Mandibuzz is in the middle. Oops. We want to undo that since we accidentally clicked on that layer. We want to click on Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz, again, is the featured Pokemon. And we want the featured Pokemon. Maybe you want the featured Pokemon in the middle. So featured Pokemon is in the middle. And now we're going to go back to the Halloween cup. And we can keep the Halloween icon, you know, in the background like this. We can't really move it. Uh, because we have all the other layers on top, so uh, we want to maybe uh, get rid of some of the, uh, not get rid of them, but get to, oops, get to my Halloween uh, icon if we could do that. Um, okay, we want to get to, <laughs> these are really big. Um, 
Can we get to it? All right, we can get to it. And you could move it. You could put it wherever you want. We'll just keep it where it was. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, we see the Halloween cup in the background. Or the Halloween icon, I should say. And we have the featured Pokemon uh, right there. So that's another idea you could do that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool as well. Now, how I used to create my original thumbnails. We'll get rid of all this. Not all of it. We'll get rid of most of it. Um, get rid of the background, get rid of that, get rid of that. So how I used to create my original uh, thumbnails, I used to take an image, um, let's say, I don't know if I have a Mandibus, I do have Mandibus. So I would take the Mandibus uh, image right there, right? So we do have Mandibus, uh, and I would just basically stretch it out like this. Uh, these were not the best thumbnails, I don't think, because it is blurry. Um, so I would basically pause the video and take a snapshot of the Pokemon, and the Pokemon would be there. So again, in this case, Mandibuzz, we would have the Halloween uh, logo. Uh, and if you want it on top, you have to move move it up and down. Uh, and I would do this. This is not my favorite. Uh, I mean, I use these uh, backgrounds for a long time, but I, I, I like my new ones better, and you guys do as well. Uh, so we still have the Pokemon. Um, Logo, we could move that to the other side if we choose to. Same with my uh, logo, and there we go. If you want to add text, uh, click on the text tool right here, the big T, and we can add text. Let's say, um, Mandibuzz is broken, right? Mandibuzz is broken. Um, so it, it, right now, I guess it's it's that probably that green that I, I uh, highlighted earlier. We don't want that that color. We don't want that color. So uh, when we click off of it, it's green. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the full color and pick any color we want. So in this case, we want white. Oops. So we want the white color, right? Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we don't want Ariel though, and so these are the other types you could use. Um, you know, this crown next to it is where you have to, if you want to use the, these fonts, uh, you do have to pay for the program and then you'll unlock a bunch of new fonts, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, and you could do that should you choose to. Uh, you could also add your own fonts, which I would recommend doing. The font that I use personally and that I actually really like uh, is, let's get to it, it's Inder. So this font I actually personally like, so I use this for my overlays. Uh, but again, you could download your own font at thefont.com. I've done that in the past, but uh, I'm not going to get into a tutorial of how to download those fonts. But if you want to download a font, you can Google it. Uh, so this is the font I use. So pretty cool. Uh, and of course, we want to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So it is a little bit bigger. So Mandibuzz is broken. Uh, we'll move this uh, hollow ween icon up so it doesn't interfere with the text right however this is still a little bit hard to see i mean you could see it but it, it's not the greatest so what we're going to do is go to styles right up here uh, outline outline you could make any color you want i like the black um on the white i think it looks cool size stands out a lot more right stands out a lot more and you can also make it bigger as well uh should you choose to um, you know, there we go. Mandibuzz is broken. Uh, so now we have that. And you could also, if you want to, oops, um, let's move this up. Go back to the text tool and we'll have Mandibuzz is, and then hit enter. Mandibuzz is broken. So we have it like this and we could even make it bigger now. Uh, so if we wanted to do that, um, or if you don't even want Mandibuzz, you could just say, let's say broke, you just want broken. You just want what it is. What, what's going to be in the title? Let's say you use broken in the title. Uh, you just want broken and you can even make it even bigger. So it's really stands out, right? Oh, that's good. That looks good. So that really stands out. Um, yeah, so that's a few thumbnail ide ideas. I do like the one I currently use. But again, I will leave Pixel Editor in the description down below, as well as Pokemon is their website if you want to go ahead and download the Hall Halloween Cup icon, the Catch Cup, the Ultra League, whatever it is, it's on their website, whatever you want to download. So uh, that is how I make my thumbnails. Let me know what you guys think. Again, if you would like to see more, like how I make my overlays, how I make um, whatever it happens to be, 
uh, you know, my, how I edit the videos, how I record the videos. I will make this into its own series. Let me know in the description down below and I will be happy to. And we'll go based on views, we'll go based on comments, likes, and see if we make it into a series. But if you do like it and do want to see more, definitely let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.